<laughs> Mina, konnichiwa. Jesus freaking gamer here. I'm here with my good friend. Nah. That's yeah. My name. So I believe. <laughs> you said yeah, so you know, yeah, cat. I don't know. Remember the farting pop tart, cat. This is actually going to be a serious discussion it here. It is. I Believe think, it or not. So I think that I am the only friend in your little group of friends mm. that you do your YouTube shit with that we haven't gotten into some deep shit. And, uh, not Dark Souls conversation video. Um, yo, I, I, cause I've seen political stuff with that other dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm not very, just for you guys, I'm not the most politically minded guy. I'm very religious minded, but most of my political views stem from my moral views. I don't have really incredibly strong leanings to one party or another. I vote whatever I think is best. My main voting point is abortion, for those of you who are curious. Which means you probably almost always vote Republican. I always have so far, yes. Yeah. Um, abortion, and I'll say this publicly, abortion is murder, and I will not vote a murderer into office if given the choice. I'll say I would appreciate if you said that with a little less, un <laughs> the, like, sureness. Because we are of differing opinions on a lot of topics. Well, um, I it, yeah, because this I, video is gonna. This, I almost feel like this is a. Uh, and your your man, what, what's the dude? I can't remember his name. What the guy? The, the, the British guy, Paul Joseph Watson. He mentioned in his interview sure. with Blair White that it all to be a conservative almost requires a coming out at this point. Politically, a lot of gears have shifted. Oh yeah, a the, lot of things are different and thing. in place. A lot of uh, and saying this stuff on YouTube. I'm a little bit scared. A lot, the, a lot of the American political establishment believes that the country is center right. I'm generally center right. A lot but of issues you are. The country is not center right, despite what the establishment tells us. The country center left. It is. It's certainly shifting it's leaning in that direction. Left, um, to the point of Republicans today are basically the Democrats from 25 years ago. Hmm. Um, and it's it's slowly going more left. Uh, like I said, I'm relatively moderate on most issues. Yeah. Um, on very few do I pick a right or a left side, but that's in social terms. In economic terms, I, I should title this video like "Coming Out," and then it's all about me coming out as a conservative. A, a, economically, I am very right wing. I am very fiscally conservative. Socially, I'm pretty moderate. Yeah. Um, I think it would be conservative in both areas, just so yeah. far in my life. Um, which, there's actually a name for that, and it's it bothers me that most people don't know. There's even a party affiliated for it, it's called Libertarians. Most people don't know what the fuck a Libertarian is. <laughs> I have a good, really good friend who uh, actually uh, gathered up a petition to try to run for a public office as a Libertarian. Yeah. It, it did not succeed, unfortunately. That sucks. But um, he he's extremely politically minded, very yeah. very much so. Um, I didn't used to be politically minded. I have become politically minded over the last three or four years. Um, I've always been very religiously minded. I have so I have strong opinions on both issues. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, like, I'll be talking to my friends and like, what's a libertarian? And I explain it to them. And these are people that all have always voted or sided Republican, always voted or sided Democrat. Mm -hmm. I tell them what a, a libertarian is, and they're like. Oh shit, there's a party for that? That's me. This and this is the one election. I'll say this, this is the one election where you might have your voice heard. Because neither Trump nor Hillary are incredibly popular. The Libertarian Party has a running to get 15-20%. Which that is unheard of for a third party. The closest one to that was uh, Ross, Ross Perot. Perot. Yeah. Um I forgot exactly what election he was in. I think it was George H. W. Bush and Forget. I think Even was, though I'm old enough to have been there, I wasn't old enough to vote at the time. I think it was George W. Bush. But I was old enough to see Ross Perot on TV. Who did John Kerry run against? That was George W. Bush. Uh, Senior. Junior. G okay. Okay. I don't know what we're what. displaying our ignorance for the world we to are. see. Right here. All right. I never said I was good at history. Who was your friend? Never said I was good at history. So good at politics and religions, history. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm also good at math. But anyway, so. In the politically left-leaning climate that our country's going in, 
I'm not getting this video could be very unpopular. <laughs> it very well may be because of the question I'm about to ask, which is we touched on this slightly before. But now we're just going. We're going I am going in deep here. I'm going in all out. So, as a Christian, it's not really a surprise based on my other videos if you've been keeping up that I am morally and religiously conservative. In this video, though, it's all going to come out. I started off with abortion and his murder. Let's see where the rest of it goes. Do you think homosexuality is a choice? Yes, I do. And see, that's never made sense to me. I, get, I grew up in a Christian school. <clears throat> I grew up in a church. I always heard my entire life that homosexuality was a choice. And it may or may not be. I don't know. I'm not an expert on neurology. So but, you just briefly say your own opinion there. So right now you're undecided. I, I, I would say that it's not a choice, but... You lean in that direction. Yes. But you're not for, I, I In the same way that I'm agnostic. Gotcha. I... If, if someone put a gun to my head and asked me what I thought, if I gave, pick a side, mm -hmm. I would say there isn't a God. Gotcha. I would say that uh, that being gay isn't a choice. But I think it is possible as <clears throat> science progresses, as life progresses, that we could find evidence of the contrary. And if we do find evidence of the contrary, then I'm open to a new opinion. But as of how our understanding of these topics are right now, I don't think being gay is a choice, and I don't think there's a God. But that could change. <laughs> you're, open, you're open to opinions. I'm open to opinions, and I'm open to new evidence. And that's one thing that I think a lot of people have a problem with, is they're stuck in their ways. And yeah. you know, if new evidence comes about, meow, I'm here. A bunch of new fake with kids and bullshit. Uh, I, so I'm, I'm open to, po to other possibilities, but as for what I think now, that's it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's never made sense to me that it would be a choice. Because up until the last five or ten years, being gay was very frowned upon by society. Even today, it, I mean, it, I mean, we have a lot of social acceptance of it, but on a person-to-person -person basis, there are still a lot of people that don't accept it. Um, but back ten years ago, you were ostracized for it. You were potentially hated for it. You know, you faced being assaulted. You're walking around a store, someone sees, uh, you know, these two guys see a, a gay dude, let's go beat him up. That wasn't unheard of. That was actually quite common. Before that, way back 100 years ago, it killed you. Publicly executed for it. And in some parts of the world today, you're publicly executed for it. That's a very negative outcome for someone that identifies as that. And I, it doesn't make sense to me that I, you would go out of your way to identify as that. Like, I can't picture someone in their right mind going, hmm, what could I do to make my entire family hate me, potentially be beaten to the brink of death, or even be killed? What could that? I'll be gay. That's what I'll do. I can't see someone doing that. I can't see it. Um... And I do want to point out to the people that are watching this, you're going to see me throughout a lot of the topics. We're going to talk for a while, not just about this, but about a lot of things. You're going to see me about uh, quite a few topics. I laugh as I talk, and I, I smile, and that's not because I think this is funny. This is obviously not a very funny topic. The reason I do that is just because I am a lighthearted person. I find things as lighthearted as I humanly can. That's how I keep from being offended. Um... I don't think this is funny, but every now and again, if something has a humorous side to it, you'll see me chuckle because I tend to think of ways in the most lighthearted way possible. I'm not trying to be offensive. Uh, I just want to clarify that. And for, my, and for my point, he's my friend. I know him. I could care less what his reaction <laughs> is. I know he's not being a complete douche. That disclaimer was for you guys. Hopefully... If you've watched plenty of our Dark Souls episode, hopefully you'll have a little bit of rapport, not just with me, hopefully you'll have some rapport with him as well. So, as the Christian of the conversation, I'm going to ask for grace and peace and forgiveness on all sides, please. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, that, that argument has never made sense. Did I've you, never understood how in the world could that be? A, how in the world could that be a choice? Yeah. Um, so, we covered a little bit of this and we decided to 
basically cut that video. Yeah. Because it just, it kind of, I was. It turned we, into a. We were playing Dark Souls, and instead of me playing the game while talking, we're both very sleep deprived right now. I'm on three hours, and he's on three hours less than I am. So. It, 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 and to say that another way, he got three hours of sleep last night. I've been up for about 29 to 30 hours at this point. And now we're going to have an intellectual conversation on the political mores of this country. This is a great time for me to come out as a conservative on YouTube, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Mm. Very tasteful. Oh, that's great. Hopefully I won't humiliate... Well, hopefully I'll only humiliate myself, if anyone is humiliated. Yeah. I don't care if I'm humiliated. I don't care. <laughs> as far as homosexuality being a choice, I see where you're coming from. Yeah. I can see where it's kind of like... Why in the world would you make a choice that would completely destroy yourself, your family, your livelihood? Why would you make a choice like that um, if it didn't come from somewhere deep inside? Um, I don't think this is—I don't think this is an unimportant aside. As a Christian, I have a very strong commitment to my relationship with Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's how I go to heaven and live forever. And the counterpart to that not burn in hell forever. Right. Um, and it would, be, it would be fallacious for me to not acknowledge that side. Um, I focus more on the heaven side just because that's where I want people to go. That, that, that's where Jesus wants people to go. So I focus very heavily on the heaven side, but I can't just completely ignore the hell side as well. I mean, if I'm going to make a coming out video, I might as well just admit to all the stuff that conservatives generally don't like, especially religious Christian conservatives, I kind of hate it for these things in certain parts of the media and YouTube more specifically. And that's, that's one thing that bothered me earlier today. But to give you all some context, I come straight from... I, I have a philosophy class in the morning. Yeah, and this guy... I come straight from philosophy class over here, so all this shit's on my mind when I get here. Half the last Dark Souls video that you guys won't see... Nope. ...was just us talking. And since I'm so sleep deprived, I wasn't able to play the game and actually talk about the conversation like I did in the last few videos... And he wasn't able to stop talking about this stuff. <laughs> Accurate. Um, so I was just like, you know what, dude? We're just gonna make a video. We're just gonna make a series of videos, and we're just gonna talk about this just stuff. Air it all out. But anyway, this is my coming out conservative video. Um, well, the thing that bothered me was in this philosophy class. Obviously, I take it with a couple, quite a few other people. I think the class was about twenty-five. Um, uh, one lady in there. Uh, I I wouldn't mention her name even if I knew it, but I don't know it. Yeah. Um, she's simply a lady in my philosophy class. Uh, we we were talking about purely the existence of God today, and the teacher did an amazing job at drawing the lines between theist, atheist, and agnostic, which I think are lines that a lot of people blur. Um, and, and, and so he did a very good job of that. And this this one lady, which I I I, I, I couldn't tell if I met, should be offended. Quick definitions on those terms. Okay, let's, uh, let's just frame this as clearly as our right. muddled minds can. Um, a theist, not atheist, a theist is anyone that believes in a god or any form of divinity. So, a Christian, a Muslim, mm -hmm. a Buddhist. Uh, the Buddhists don't believe in a god, but they, still do, they do still believe in a divinity. So they're mm -hmm. still theists. Um, anyone that is any kind of religious or spiritual. That doesn't apply to all Buddhists strictly, just as a... Right, yeah, no, that's, that's there, just general. Like, in general... You know, Catholics believe one thing, Christians believe another. But yeah. there are a lot of Catholics that believe more what Christians do than what other Catholics do. It's yeah. just a general statement. In general, Buddhists don't believe in a god. But there are obviously exceptions to that. Uh, but for the ones that don't, they're still considered theists because they still believe in spirituality and a divinity. Um, an atheist is not just someone who doesn't believe in that. They believe that that is not the case. So is that, in fact, the exact opposite. Pause there real quick. Um, just something he said earlier, and it's kind of like niggling on my mind. I, I, in this video, I'm not drawing a line between Catholic and Christian. We'll, I will draw a line between Catholic and Protestant, okay. or Catholic and Evangelical Christianity. Yeah, there Your is statement line. could kind of sound like Catholics aren't Christians. No, I didn't mean I'm, that at all. <laughs> I'm not willing to commit to that. In this video or on well, my no, channel in general. I mean, no, Catholics <laughs> are definitely Christians. If you go by the definition of Christianity... Exactly. Judo-Christianity... Christians are, or uh, Protestants yeah. are included, Catholics are included, Muslims are included, Jews are included. Muslims, Muslims believe in the same God the Christians do. Completely incorrect. <laughs> Topic for another video.
Completely. Okay. Wow, that is so, no. Islam is the second. It's the fastest growing religion and the second largest religion in the world. You can look yeah. that up on any statistical yes. database. Separate from all brands of Christianity. We will talk about this in another video because <laughs> from everything I looked up and know about Islam, which I took a class on global religions last semester. I, from what I understand, which we'll go into research when this video happens, um, to my understanding, Muslims believe in the same God. It's just that God has different laws. Anyway, but we'll get into that. Like, not now. There's a difference of opinion there. Take note. Ta take, take notes, people, because we know you're listening to us and our words are that important. Yeah. yeah. So, that's topic for another time. Let's stay on point. Um, but yeah, like, like Judeo-Christianity is, is an all-encompassing it has a lot of sects in it. We'll go with that for now. Yeah. Um, as for what those sects are, is to be debated, apparently. But, um... Alright, so, so that's what a theist is. An atheist is someone that believes that that is not the case. It's not just that they don't believe in God. They believe there is no God, specifically. They... You know, I mean, it's not just the lack of belief. It is the intentional belief that there is no God. Mm -hmm. I want to make that as clear as possible. They've picked a side. They have picked a side, putting their feet down and saying, no, there isn't. Not just, I don't believe in it. It's, I believe there isn't. Um, so they are not spiritual at all. They're not, they don't believe in any form of divinity, any form of God. Um, because A, meaning the lack thereof, if you go back to, I think it's Latin. Latin. Um, so A, theist, is the lack of theism. Actually, no, that goes back to the Greek. Greek, theos, that's what it is. Theos for God, a theos, no. I wasn't sure if it was Latin or Greek. All right, so it's Greek. Um, so yeah, a being the lack thereof. Um, agnostics, somewhere in the middle. Agnostics don't believe in a God, but they also don't believe there is no God. If you ask, all right, so if you ask a theist, is there a God? Yes. There is one. If you ask an atheist, is there a God? They would no. say, no, there is not one. If you ask an agnostic, is there a God? If you ask me, is there a God? My response is going to be, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> That's about as far as it goes. Uh, agnostics, they, we believe we don't know. And I don't think anyone on the planet knows. Uh, and, and there could very well be a God. If there is one, I don't think anyone on this earth has the the capability of understanding it. Um, it's, I would agree with you on that probably, point. It's too complex for us to even understand. Well, the full of comprehension. It. Yeah. Frame that. Yeah. Some comprehension is possible. I don't believe that. <laughs> I think if there a, we disagree. If there's a god, every person on the planet is. Or <laughs> so that's as far as our intelligence goes. Um, so so he did very mostly good, agree with that. <laughs> he did a very good. He did a very good job of drawing those lines. Which I hope I did a good enough job here. Um, this lady in the class. She said, no, whether you're an atheist or an agnostic doesn't matter because you worship the devil. Specifically, anyone that isn't a Christian. She, she was a Christian. Specifically, anyone feeling. that wasn't a Christian I had a feeling she was worships Christian. the devil. I wasn't sure whether to be offended by that or feel sorry for her ignorance. I honestly wasn't sure. I was, I was a little bit better. Um, so, so that's why all this is coming up, because I come right from philosophy. I just want to point out a little thing out there is, don't think like that. That's not the case. And, for, and to address the Christian side of that argument, the verse she's probably coming from is in the Gospels where Jesus said, whoever, and I, unfortunately I don't know the specific verse, and I, this is going to be a paraphrase at best. Jesus essentially said, whoever is not with me is against me. Right. And, and you're familiar with mainstream evangelical Christianity. I'm those, familiar with a lot of Christianity. Those who believe in Jesus go to heaven. Those who do not believe in Jesus go to hell. And it's Jesus only, right. not some other Now, God. what I hope so, she meant... So, I think that is probably... I, since I wasn't there, yeah. and I, I, don't, I can't... I'm not going to pretend to speak on her behalf, but that is what it sounds like, the line of thinking that the, And I, I from. thought of that as well, um... What I hope she meant wasn't... And we're getting to homosexuality. Yeah. That's coming up. What I hope she meant... There's wasn't going to be many of these talks. Wasn't that literally, oh, I don't believe in God, so I'm going to go home and open my closet door 
and pray. Draw your s- pentagram. Draw my pentagram and pray Sailor's to my Sailor's prayer backward. <laughs> I'll carve an upside down cross in my arm. That I hope she didn't literally mean that's what we do. I hope that what she meant was if you don't believe in God, then you might as well be a devil worshiper. That's what I hope she meant, which I still know is fucking stupid. But I hope that's the least, that's the lesser of the two students. Uh, I hope that's what she was going for. But I don't know how homosexuality because we've gone on a tangent here. I just wanted to make clear where this is all coming from because it comes straight from philosophy. I'll say that we needed to backtrack I- anyway because there was no fra- there would be no framework for the conversation if we didn't establish that foundation. Yeah. All that was laid in the Dark Souls video, which doesn't it. exist anymore. <laughs> so y'all needed some background. And again, there's going to be plenty of these talks. Stick around. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just in, in all of my time and all of that learning of growing up in a Christian home and everything, I, I never really got that. I, I, could, I, I couldn't fathom it in my head. <laughs> how, how, yeah, they're like they're, I'm, I'm motivated by an eternal paradise afterwards. Right. They, well, if they're, if they're feel, if they have, and herein lies the whole choice thing. You can desire something, and then not go after it. I, I think I said this in the last video, not this we video. We didn't actually, because I was about to ask you about this, and then we cut it. Yeah. So, um, just we're both heterosexual males. And as a Christian, I've been a Christian since I was 13, so like right at the beginning of pubescence and sexual desire, I've had opportunity to have sex. And I have chosen not to give in to that urge. This is sure the, you did. I'm just is, kidding. <laughs> is the desire there? Yes. Um, I am not asexual. I am heter- a heterosexual male. And the desire was definitely there. And the opportunity was definitely there. I chose to go against that. I made the choice to not do that because I'm like, okay, I'm not married to this girl. This is wrong. I'm going to stay away from the circumstance or I'm going to back out of this circumstance. Um, Had one very, very close call. Um, In my book, it would be very bad. In your book, you'd be like, dude, you totally blew that. Go for it, bro. Or rather, you didn't blow it. What's wrong with you? What did I do? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 like, blow your load. Um, I, was, I was trying to make a double in time didn't work there. well. It's not like you were blowing something. <laughs> I just established I'm a heterosexual male. You have me say, oh, man, I can see you getting with a girl, and right as it's about to start, you just pull out a mask of Markiplier and put it over her face. <laughs> and so- How did this happen? <laughs> what the hell is this? All right. Alright, moving on. Uh, this is going on the channel. Moving I'm on. not planning. This is obviously an informal discussion. It is. If it wasn't apparent from the intro, I made a choice because of my re- my religious inclination created an opposing desire in me to say, no, I'm not going to do this. So from that right there, even my hetero the desire to have sex is there. The acting out on it, I think we would both agree, the acting out of any sexual desire, that is a choice. That's, oh, yes. That's not... And there are some feminazis out there who would say, you know, men are born rapists, they can't control that urge. Neither one of us believe that. That is bullshit. That's bull to the shit. I said, I only under one circumstance did I come very close to missing that. Under other circumstances, I have said no. So that there's definitely a choice involved there on the male's part, for goodness sakes. So now on to, on to something a little bit more deep or something more on the heart level. Can you control the desire that comes over you? <laughs> now, now this is so, getting into the topic of free will. Well, I was actually, I wasn't trying to delve that deep. I'm tr- I was trying to stay on the topic of homosexuality because what I, one of the things I don't like is how some Christians give half-assed answers. Yeah. And that pisses me off. Yeah. And I've been thorough and genuine with you guys, been thorough and genuine with you. On the Dark Souls video where I was actually able to mentally process while playing, I was straight up about, yeah, genocide's in the Bible. And no, God's not wrong to order that or do that. And I defended that. You didn't agree with me, but I wasn't logically inconsistent. And I also answered you honestly. I was Which like, I appreciate. This, this is what I believe in. You know, you may, 
you don't think I'm a horrible person. Some of you guys, once you watch the videos, you may think I am. And I have to accept that. I am committed to my worldview. I'm committed to what I believe to be the truth. If I'm given sufficient evidence otherwise, I'm willing to say no to Jesus. I'm actually willing to do that if proof is given. If so, but I have seen a pretty substantial amount of proof in my personal life, Bible, personal experiences, other people, etc. I feel very convinced and comfortable in the fact that Jesus Christ is Lord. So I'm not willing to turn from that easily by any means. So the choice to have sex, whether heterosexual, homosexual, obviously the act itself is a choice under whatever right. circumstances. Now as far as the desire goes, is that a choice? And at that at that level, as a human being, I'm like, are any of our desires choices? We choose. It is. It's like we have a mental framework and we have a background, and from that, that develop. I mean, the, uh, this kind of does go into free will a little bit. Oh man, I know our next video is going to be. We did. We're born a certain way. I don't believe culture completely and totally shapes and defines who we are. I believe we're born as who we are. Now, the, now, it, would that come from? It's hard not to. I'm trying to answer this thoroughly and not in a half-assed way, so it's right. hard not to be thorough. No, well, just out. Just a quick answer. Uh, out of curiosity, that bit that comes from us at birth mm -hmm. that we aren't that we don't gain from our environment. Yes. Does that, would you say that comes from God or from our genetics or both? That, they're in, they're, that's a combination. That's, a, that's actually a really good okay. question. It's, it's kind of like um, how we discussed in the whole genocide thing. God creates us, but at the same time, we, our parents gave birth to us, so we're formed in their image. God does knit us together in our mother's womb, but we obviously inherit DNA from the father and the mother, and thus we are sinners born in rebellion to God. So the answer, it's not one or the other. It's, it's, it's the, a little bit of both. A coin isn't just a head or a tail. It's heads and tails. So it's a little bit of both. Um, okay. Both form us. Um, God, we are, we are still in the image of God, but because of our parents, that image is twisted. Right. Therefore, well, that's why there's a little bit of good and bad in people. Well, and, there's, and that also goes back to a, the, a proper, what I believe would be a proper theology of the tree, eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, as opposed to eating of the tree of life. Um, every human is born with, it is, with a knowledge that good and evil exists. Not necessarily, now, what, ha, what defines what's good and evil, a large part of that does come from our parents, our training, our experiences, our culture. A large part, we're born with a knowledge that something is wrong with the world. There is not a single human being on any side of this argument who would say that this world is perfect in every single way and there's nothing wrong. No human of any persuasion, from Christian to Satanist, would say that there is nothing wrong with this world. Everyone would say something's wrong with the world. The question is, what is it? Even the shirts you're wearing, you know, America, fuck yeah! America, more, even more controversial, police. Evil is powerless if the good are unafraid. And guess what's in the middle of an American flag? With a blue line through it. The, the police part is the controversial. And, but, he's aiming to be a cop. We discussed that previously. And I'm pro-cop. I know there's some bad eggs out there. That doesn't mean all of them are. And I personally, I really like this guy. Um, I believe he's going to do, um, I believe he's going to do the county, the state, even something national or international, wherever he chooses to go, I think he's going to do a lot of good. Thank you. Even if he doesn't believe in my God and birth and hell forever. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, buddy. I feel love. Don't you? And on that note, we're actually just about at 30 minutes, and I think it's probably good. We're probably going to do this in 30 minute sessions. So for y'all, it's going to be a day or maybe even a few days. Um, for us, it's going to be the very next conversation. Yeah, so, couple minutes. so thank you guys very much for watching this video. Look forward to the next one. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button. And if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. Share it with someone. Join the freaks! I love you, and God bless.